Hello everyone, today I'd like to share with you a uh, runic spread that I just recently came up with. Uh, one that I haven't experimented with, but I'm about to experiment with. And this spread idea is basically a, a combination of three sets of two runes each. And uh, the first set is going to be uh, basically passion. And passion is kind of like the id, the the instinctual drive uh, of our psyche. And I'm going to draw a rune for what is wrong and what is right with that part of my psyche, the passion. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the intellect, uh, that part of us that holds to its ideals, who helps us to understand uh, the nature of our decisions and how to shoot for goals in the future in a just way, a way that is just to us. Uh, and that's the intellect. I'm going to also read uh, a draw a rune for what is wrong and right with my intellect at this time. And uh, lastly, I'm going to draw two runes, like with the, the uh, two forms of my psyche before, uh, for the ego. And the ego is kind of a combination of passion and intellect. Uh, the ego is our personality, but it's really a convergence point of our instinct and our intellect, uh, our, ability, our ability to feel uh, in its most intense and our ability to control at its most pure. So uh, let's get started. I'll show you kind of how I've, I have this laid out for now. Uh, and, you know, I might change it in the future, but this, uh, this layout that I have here I think is going to work very well. Um, basically, like I said, uh, briefly describe up here uh, what I'm doing. And I'm, for passion, I'm going to draw one rune that's right, one rune that's wrong. I mean, one rune that's wrong, one rune that's right. And this will basically give me a feeling of what is right and wrong with my compa my passion, basically. And uh, I'm going to do the same for intellect and ego. And um, I have high hopes for this because I've done something similar to this before with tarot cards, and it's turned out well. So uh, I'll go ahead and share this with you, this whole process, and uh, I'll kind of give a brief explanation of what each rune means in the place that it's drawn. So let's get started. And now when you're drawing runes, you definitely want to put the runes back in the bag after you draw one. You don't want to have options closed off to you when you're doing a rune reading. So, uh, okay, I'm going to draw. And by the way, this bag of runes, it, uh, it's burlap, kind of, canvas. And um, all the runes in it are, here I'll just show you real quick, are from a branch that I cut. Uh, from a branch that I cut, uh, painted, uh, and burned these runes into it with a soldering gun. So I was, I was uh, deeply involved in every process uh, that was required to create this rune set. And of course I had to strip the branch as well. But Once you get a certain connection to your divination system, uh, the set that you use, tarot set, the runic set, then you start to really feel a, uh, a connection to the ability to read, to perform a reading, whether it be runic, uh, tarot, or any other forms, reading shells, bones. Uh, I've developed my own shell system. But okay, we'll go ahead and go with the first rune that I'm gonna draw, and it's gonna be what is wrong with my passion at this time. And here we have Kinas. And it's not opposite, it's straight. So basically, Kinaz is kind of a kind of an arrow, uh, an opening. And basically, this rune represents um, one's one's connection to a f the fiery realm, the uh, the realm that is beyond our own. Um, that there is an opening in my body, in my mind, in my psyche that is letting in too much of something. And that's what is wrong with my passion right here. And uh, Kinaz is often associated with Surt. And uh, Surt is the uh, infernal god in the Nordic pantheon. Uh, the god of fire who guards the gates of Muspelheim and rules that realm. And who will uh, be with the forces that encounter Odin and the gods, uh, the Aesir, uh, Across, when they come across the rainbow, rainbow bridge with the forces of hell as well and the Jotun. And uh, he will lead the fiery troops. And uh, he's destined to die, but so are the gods. So that's kind of who, who is behind the realm, I mean, the rune of Kinaz. Kinaz is an opening rune, uh, a gateway. And if that, 
if I drew that for my passion and that's what's wrong is I'm letting in uh, too much of my passion, of my, of my uh, fiery nature into my life. So that's the first one we have here. And the next one, I'm going to put this room back into the bag. Shake it up. And then I'm going to draw another one. Without looking into the bag, of course. And kind of keep it upright wherever it lands in my hand. So, okay, and here we have what is right with my passion, which is Isa, which is basically the direct opposite of Kinaz. Isa is a standstill, is uh, the lack of progress, the, uh, not necessarily the lack if it's used in a positive light, but the, uh, the, the firmness, the stillness, the uh, foundation. And if that's what's right with my passion, then it means that um, my passion does have a strong foundation in what's right. Uh, and along with the kinas, that means that I am letting in something uh, a little too much, letting in too much of my uh, fiery nature. But I do have a strong foundation in my passion. So that's also inf informative, just like kinas was. And uh, we'll go on to the next one. We'll go on to intellect. And uh, of course, we'll draw uh, what was wrong, or what is wrong with my intellect at this time. Shake it up just like before. Try not to grab any specific one, just whatever one kind of draws your fingers in around it. And here we go. Now this, this is, uh, I believe this is the room that I have for, yep, Sawelu. Uh, this is Sawelu, which is wholeness. Um, so intellect, this is a very interesting room to draw for intellect because, oh, let's not do that. <laughs> Because uh, it means that my intellect is too too strong, um, and I can see that in my life. Uh, my intellect is I perform too many acts with my intellect and don't put my personality into it. I don't put my uh, I don't put who I am into it. Instead, I put uh, who I think I am into it, my ideology into it. When I should be connecting with people more. And uh, that's kind of what Suelu would mean to me in that position in this uh, runic spread uh, as far as what is wrong with my intellect. Uh, I have to learn to uh, get closer to society and uh, not put too much of my ideology into how I understand people uh, because that's what the intellect is. It's almost pure ideology. So that's what that represents in that uh, slot for uh, intellect and what is wrong with intellect for me at this time, and this makes a lot of sense. Next one is what is right with intellect. Shake it up like before. And there we go. Gabo, partnership. And now there's no, there's no like reverse of this. <clears throat> it's kind of, it's kind of one of those runes that, uh, that is, uh, unreversible. And since I, and this is the Gabo I have for this set, uh, what is right with my intellect that it has properly partnered with basically who I am with my passion and ego. So that's, that's a very good sign. It means that it's my intellect is partnered correctly with my passion and ego. But uh, with Suelu, Suelu kind of means that uh, I need to relate to society better. But I do have a proper relationship with my ego, passion, and um, intellect, uh, as when it comes to my intellect, and you know it's, it's very vague, but uh, that's basically the gist of it. When you have Gifu or Gabo right there, all right. And uh, the next one we're gonna go for is ego, and uh, we'll see what's wrong with my ego at this time. And see, if you draw a rune that's kind of like sideways a little bit, if you kind of pull it out of the bag that's a little sideways, then whatever direction down or up that it's mainly pointing to, you kind of turn it that way. And then that's that's what you go off of. Okay, so Tiwaz is what I wrote, uh, what I drew uh, for what's wrong with my ego, which is interesting. Uh, and perhaps this means that 
if I drew Tiwaz for what is wrong with my ego. Perhaps this means that I, uh, I believe I am more of a spiritual warrior than I truly am at this time. That I have a high standard and idea of myself uh, that is actually higher than how I'm performing uh, spiritually uh, in the world today, in the world right now. And uh, perhaps this is a warning that saying, uh, work harder and don't think too highly of yourself just yet because there's, there's more work to be done. And uh, that's what I get from... Uh, drawing Tiwaz in that spot. And uh, we'll go ahead and get to the last one. Check it up. And <laughs> Isa again. So what is right? So again, I drew Isa for what is right. In passion and in ego, what is right is Isa. Which uh, probably means that I have good foundations in passion and ego. And what is right, uh, interestingly, in intellect is um, gufu or gibbo, however you want to say it. There's different ways to say it. But um, that's pretty interesting because that means that there's a strong foundation between my passion, ego, and intellect um, in my psyche. And that's indicated by basically the partnership uh, of the intellect between passion and ego. So it's kind of like bringing them all together, the, bringing the Trinity together uh, and showing me that I do have good foundations and, sh and firmness and strength in passion and ego in the right way. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually seeing a really good pattern here for this reading. And, uh, I, you know, I don't really need to write down these details. I kind of know the runes pretty well and I could kind of understand this interpretation again if I was just to look at where the runes are and uh, <clears throat> basically the layout for uh, this spread. But uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all, maybe give you some ideas about working with your own runes or your own divination system, or perhaps just uh, ideas about runes in general, uh, maybe encourage you to get some. But uh, it's this seems to be a pretty good spread. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. It seemed to have worked out pretty well right now, and um, I might use it again, and I'll probably think about this, this, uh, this reading for a while. So, uh, hey, thank you for watching if you came with me this far. And uh, please give a like if this, uh, if this was interesting to you at all. And uh, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I would love some subscribers. Uh, I'm still working on getting more of those. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And uh, you can always comment and ask for certain videos to be made on different subjects. And uh, I'll more than likely make a video for you. Uh, but thank you very much, and uh, you all have a great one.